Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use your sales rep portal through PhilQuick. It's very simple, so what you're going to notice is here on the your dashboard, you're going to see your company news. This is any news that your company is putting out. Very important to stay on top of it and see what's going on at your company. Next, you'll have your lead actions. See, your lead actions, you can either create a lead from within PhilQuick, which I'll show you how, or if you get assigned leads from your company, you're going to get a notification that you have a brand new lead, and it'll be placed instantly on your dashboard if it has an action such as to call this lead or visit this lead. Now, one thing to note with your lead actions is on the dashboard over here, you'll see this lead says today to contact between on Saturday uh, at this time. So you're supposed to call this customer. So let's just say we go into the customers, the lead that was set for us, and you see all the information over here. You can read some notes like, uh, let's just say the wife said the, the husband's looking for an alarm or any notes that you perhaps put in over here. You call the customer. Customer, and the customer says, you know what? That sounds interesting. Um, can you show up to my house? Let's just say, and uh, let's go ahead over here and associate a brand new action because you see under actions, date and time, uh, Monday morning at, um, let's just say 9 a.m. So you can choose Monday morning, 9 a.m. Let's go save this brand new lead action. And by the way, it's call lead. So we would actually have switched this to visit the lead because the customer said, let's visit this customer at uh, this time, date and time. And what happens is if I go back to the dashboard, I'll show you that now it's visit the actual lead, this one over here, Monday morning at uh, this time. So what I can do is inside that lead too is I can add it to my Google Calendar. If I click on add it to Google Calendar, it'll automatically open up in your Google Calendar and you can associate it and put it on your Google Calendar. That simple. So let's just say I visit this customer on Monday morning at 9 a.m. and I'm at their house and we already ran the credit. You see the credit score of the class over here. What will happen is this customer, perhaps they say they do not want to be a customer. No, we're just not interested anymore. You can disqualify this lead, give it a disqualified reason by choosing whichever reason. Perhaps they said that they're in a contract with another company and you can write a note here and disqualify it. Or another thing you can do with this lead because you showed up to the customer's house and they said, yes, I actually want this alarm system. You can actually go over and convert this to a customer. And when you convert it to a customer, all the information is going to be directly over here. So now when you are completed with the customer or you're in the house with the customer from any smartphone, any iPad, any tablet, and you want to bulk up your equipment, you want to tell your secretary that you need the go control panel, let's just say one of these and you add the item and let's just say your door contacts you wanted to give three door contacts on here and a motion detector perhaps you wanted to do one of those you would add up your actual inventory items next you also want to choose the install date so let's just say the customer wants to be installed on the fifth and they want to be installed at nine o'clock anywhere between nine and let's just say ten o'clock a.m. your activation fee you can select it all from directly over here and keep in mind all the information is very simple and straightforward at your company. You can add your emergency contacts, choose the relationship, and then also your ECV is your emergency call to verify. So if anybody is, you can select those directly over there. Any notes on the account, you can mark it there and then hit submit directly to the bottom. And you would actually submit this customer directly over to your secretary. So it's so simple by putting, let's just say 36 months and the monitoring packet packages the cell and uh, they're going to be billed monthly and they said they want it to be on the 15th of every month. Notice that also if you scroll up to the top here, this is a door knocking lead. This is me as a salesperson. I entered the information over here and everything that's required, it'll automatically show you with a red asterisk. If you wanted to view on the address on the map, you can click on that. It'll open up in Google Maps. But the customer's verbal password that they want, perhaps they want the verbal password to be pizza. That's when the central station calls uh, the customer, the verbal password that you put on the paperwork, it'll be directly over there. So let's just enter some emergency contact like Mark Johnson and uh, Mark Johnson's phone number is directly over here. And this is his cell number. And on top of it, he is, let's just say, uh, the grandparent. Okay, and he's an emergency contact to verify as well, perhaps you want. And uh, let's just say as well on contact number two, it is Steve Johnson. 
and uh, Steve Johnson, his phone number is 623. And uh, as well, he this is his home phone number, and he's just a relative, let's just say. And perhaps they want another contact. You click on that, you can add as many contacts, or if you click on this X, it gets rid of it. Typically, you need two emergency contacts as a minimum. So we can go back up to the next side and see, is this a two-way voice account? No. Is it a takeover? No. Is it pre-wired? No. Is it hardwired? No. If you wanted yes, you can select yes on any of these, of course. And we bulked up our equipment as you see the installation over here any sales upgrades you can enter your sales upgrades your monitoring companies your cycles that we did and now let's add the customer's credit card so we go over here and it's a mastercard on file and let's just say the mastercard number that we would enter directly over here and we'd see 01 and it's 18 and the billing name if it's different the billing address let's add this to credit card on file so uh, customer is really cool uh, love this uh, customer, <laughs> something like that, any note you want to put. Submit this customer. It's just that simple to submit this customer directly over to your secretary. You are done from here. Now your secretary is going to schedule your technician and do everything else on that end with this customer. So if you go back to the dashboard, you'll see that lead action got cleaned up. Now perhaps we're supposed to visit this lead, call this lead on this specific date and time. So let's just say we went into Peter Pan, this lead, and uh, for example, we called this customer and the customer said, you know what, I don't want this system. Go over here, you can disqualify it, and uh, perhaps he said he didn't want it because he's in a contract. You can disqualify that lead directly over here. And at any point, if, for example, you call that person back and you want to reactivate it, you can reactivate that lead directly by clicking on this reactivate button and click reactivate over here. So let's not do that. I'm going to go back to the dashboard and I want to show you your seller performance. Your seller performance will, you'll be able to filter and hover over points on your dashboard to see how much money you're making. Now, by default, this is showing you this month, for example, you can go in and see, uh, let's just say last year, how much money did I make? I made 31,000, how many canceled accounts I had installed, sold, and so on and so forth. On the right, you see your performance versus time and you get to hover over certain analytics to see exactly how much money you're making and what happened in November that I had so much more money I made. Did I collect more sales upgrades? Did I get more sold accounts? You get to see all that directly on your dashboard. Always remember peak performance is very important. So you take a look at what was been, what was working and do exactly that same thing over and over again to get a better result. Now your sales rep ranking, you get to see where you're at at the company. You can hover over these things and see more analytics. And then as well, because you'll be associated to sales teams, you'll be able to see the sales team you belong to. And again, you can filter by any range. Perhaps you want to see last year, where did you stand? Oh, you were the top salesperson. And as well, your team, where did they stand? Let's just say last year, you guys were the best team and you dominated. So you'll be able to see all that. Next, if for example, you want to go into your customers and you want to just submit a brand new customer from scratch, let's just say. So you knock on a door, it's a brand new door. You go to customers, submit new, and this is not through a lead, but, uh, or let's just say you, your lead source is your door knocking lead. You can enter that and enter all the customer's information directly on this page. Yes, it works from any smartphone or any device that you actually have. And then over here, once you finish and complete this, just like in the previous example, you hit submit customer, it'll automatically go over to your secretary. All the information will be carried over. Next, you can go into my customers and see your customers over here. And uh, if it's accepted by your secretary or it's pending because you submitted this account and you're waiting for your secretary to accept it, you'll get to see the status of whether it was accepted or not and your city and so on and so forth. You can also filter by custom ranges up here. Perhaps you want to go and do an advanced search and you want to filter by all your accounts that are still being wait awaiting pending your secretary to actually accept it. Hit the search. We have one account right there. So have fun with it. Take a look at the advanced search and play around with that. Next, in your leads tab, if you want to go over to my leads, you can go over here and take a look at all your leads. Here's what's very important as a sales rep. Later on in time, it's very important to call your disqualified leads at some point in time, say it be two months, three months, four months down the road, search through all your disqualified leads and find out why they didn't want to do business with you at a previous time. So perhaps you want to go into this customer right over here and you see it was disqualified, but the wife said the husband was looking 
waiting for an alarm. If you scroll down, you see this is a very high credit score. Perhaps you call them back and see if you can earn their trust and their business at this given time because their phone number is over here to reactivate this lead. So perhaps I call them back and they say they want to do business with us. We can reactivate this lead, click on reactivate, go back over here down and let's assign this an action. So the customer now told us, hey, can you visit my house? And uh, you want to visit this house, let's just say Monday morning at um, let's just say 10, uh, 15 a.m hit save. Now this is a, a lead action that we associated to this customer. Where is it going to be? Remember on our dashboard. So now we see that we actually have this lead on our dashboard to visit this customer. Here's the address at this date and time. Okay, now I want to show you my invoices tab. So if you click on my invoices, this is going to show you all your paid and unpaid invoices that you have for your customers. So let's just say you forgot whether or not you got paid on a customer that the last name was Owens. You don't need to call your company anymore to find out whether or not you got paid on that customer. You can go to my invoices and over here type in O-W-E-N-S, Owens. And as you see, this was paid on this date. And here is the invoice. You got paid $130 on this account. If you click on the invoice, you'll instantly see the breakdown, the details of this invoice. You'll even have the check number if your company put the check number. Now, if you want to go to the customer's details on this account, you'll be able to see the tags at the top. So this was accepted by the secretary, it was installed, and you got paid. Anything that changed on the account. So requested is what you requested to be installed. Now, installed is what the technician actually installed. Sometimes you'll accidentally put two door contacts, but the technician will install three because you put it on the paperwork, let's just say. But anything in yellow means what you requested versus what was actually installed changed. All the other items on the list did not get changed from what you requested. So if something changed over here, it's very important to take a look at why, what happened. So if you go down, typically you'll see some notes over here that the technician put, like the third door contact was on the paperwork. I tried to to call the sales rep. He unfortunately didn't answer his phone. So you'll be able to see all that directly from the software. And as you get to feel the software typically tells you everything you need to do to stay on top and to be submitting accounts in an efficient manner through within PhilQuick so that your company and yourself interact on a daily basis with your sales. Thank you so much. And that concludes the video of the sales rep portal.